It comes to thinking back to the last game you guys played against Edmonton. Was it because you guys were at the end of the road trip? Like, what, what sort of didn't go well there that you want to approach this game with? Yeah, obviously it's probably some some fatigue that went in it. Uh, I mean, we played three three hard games before, and the Calgary game was a tough game. And obviously, we didn't bring the the energy and the uh, the speed to our game that we that we wanted. And we we played a team that was that was on a roll at the time. And, uh, I mean, I think that was kind of a factor to, to our play overall. So what are the attention to detail things that you want to make sure you guys are doing um, in order to sort of get back up to that level against them? Obviously, our, our speed is our main main part. Um, our speed, our, our tracking, and our uh, our play with the puck. I mean, we're playing against a team that's probably one of the best rush teams in the league and we've got to manage the puck and make sure that we don't give their top players any any easy rush rush chances where they can create offense. One of the things that Lindy has been saying is that you know he really needs to see better puck management from everybody, from his star players all the way to the bottom. Where are those improvements that need to be made, and why do you think that that's been such an issue lately? Well, it, it doesn't give you any momentum in in your game offensively when, when you have turnovers. Uh, and I mean, like you you come in in the zone and everyone's going one way, and then you have turnovers and. The other team is an easy way going the other way, and it's it's hard to, to track and, and come back in those situations. So, uh, neutral zone play has to has to be key for us to to get the pucks in and uh, make sure we don't get in get them any any easy offense. Where are you guys right now as a team with your play? I think we've been obviously taking steps. I mean, you can just look at our our record in the last. 10, 12 games, we've been playing a lot better, and uh, I think obviously there's there's part in our game that can still be uh, better when it comes to getting getting shots through from from our decor to get pucks on the inside and um, funnel a little more pucks and get a couple more dirty goals. Um, every team we're playing against knows uh, we're a skilled team, we're rush chance, and we're we're gonna answer the bell and be able to get a couple more greasy goals. Playing well defensively, and then uh, just just playing hard, um, getting yourself into the game. You know, just uh, you know, maybe it's a hit, maybe it's a block shot, and just keep doing those little things, and that will build up, um, you know, your confidence and and, and and your play, and it will lead up, you know, to uh, obviously offensively uh, production. So I think just yeah, going back to the basic, the fun foundation, just what got me here, uh, work, working hard, and. and you know, trying to stay positive. I think that's the biggest thing. And you know, I'm always hard on myself. I have high expectations, and we have high expectations as a team. And uh, yeah, most importantly, you want to, you know, it's important to, to get points here. It's very, very tight, and uh, we always, obviously, left some some points uh, on the table. So we got to make sure that every night we go out there and compete, and uh, don't leave any points uh, points out there because it's uh, it's obviously a tight race and. Um, yeah, we got big goals as a team. You talk about you know being hard on yourself. I mean, has this been kind of a frustrating season uh, for you personally? Um, I mean, definitely not happy with my uh, my play, um, but you got to learn from it. Sometimes, uh, you know, those situation um, situations can make you better as a player, uh, make you make you stronger. So you just gotta. Face adversity the right way, the challenges, um, and, and like I said, you know it's team first. You got to go out there and, and 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 try to make the place, and, and, and especially that comes from working hard. Uh, you gain those the confidence of working hard in practice, and every time you step out on the ice, and I think that's the main focus for me right now. I think it's a, so I think it's a matter of just getting one, and then the confidence kind of starts rolling from there. Because it seemed like, especially in the Kobe games, you were so, so close, had some great opportunities. I think you just need that one to kind of get going. <clears throat> yeah. It's, you know, earn earn it. I think that's that's the biggest thing. You know, that extra inch that's missing right now. You just gotta work, uh, get that with, with, with hard work, and, and, and eventually the bounces are gonna go your way um, if you do enough for it. So I think that's that's what it comes down to. Has there been any lingering effects from the injury, Timo, at all? Um, you know, not not really. I think it's uh, I said this before. It's, it's long season, and you're gonna have some bumps and bruises, and you gotta you gotta fight through it, and, and obviously face that. Diversity and and then just yeah I, I mean try to do your best every day uh, just just stay positive and and keep working. Yeah. Team, where do you feel that you guys are as an entire group right now on the ice at this point of the season? Yeah, I think we've made some some steps. Um, we still you know there's some stuff we got to clean up and and just make sure we have the consistency that every game uh, we go out there and you know especially not beat ourselves. Um, 
leave it out there every every game to get those points. And like I said, it's 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 very tight, and uh, you don't want to leave those points uh, that way. And just yeah, I think keep improving. It's the biggest thing coming every day as a group and and, and work on the game, uh, work work as as a group to, to get better and make make a step forward every day. What do you think people don't realize about how difficult it can be in this league to you know have those consistent you know winning streaks, those long runs like that? Yeah, it's tough. You're facing good teams every night, and uh, you know there's, there's tight games. Um, teams are playing well defensively, and uh, it's it's hard to earn um, wins. You know, it's, uh, you got to earn your space out there. You got to earn your chances, and, and that's what we got to do. Sometimes, you know, just realize situations, play well defensively, and then you know, let our skill take over because we obviously have a lot of offensive skill. But uh, some games, like you know, against Philadelphia, it's it's a tight game, and then uh, you just got to be ready to fe- defend. And when you get your chances offensively, uh, you got to yeah um, use them and, and, and score goals. Back to the last time you guys played the Oilers, was the result as much of being tired at the end of a road trip, or how do you sort of look at what that game was versus what you need to see from your team tonight? Well, I look at it, the game we lost, and. You know, you, you can make excuses for any game you lost. Or I can make any excuses that didn't play well enough inside the game. And we know we have to play better. Lynn, do you have an update on, on Colin Miller? Um, they're expecting a family today, so he won't be here. I, I think it's today. I mean, it's in the process, so. <laughs> I spoke to Shimon. And I asked him about, you know, what coaches say to him during, in the video room, that type of thing. And, and he mentioned, like, it's, very, it's a lot of positive reinforcement for him, basically, is what he, what he told me. What's the fine line when you have a young rookie like that, particularly on defense, on, you know, explaining to him, look, this is where you need to be, this is where you need to go, as compared to you're doing a good job, just keep it up, that type of thing. Well, you know, I think probably one of the most powerful things you can do is, is keep showing him the things he's doing right. And if you keep repeating that, uh, I think every player understands the mistakes they make. Um, you know, you have to use some of those for positioning uh, to learn from. But if you reinforce the good things that players do, uh, it sends a message. You keep on doing what you're doing.